Hey everybody, this is Nicole Glass and I am back with another video on your favorite topic, Shutterstock. And in today's unscripted video, I'm just going to pull up a few different photos from my Shutterstock portfolio and show you an example of what sells next to something that doesn't sell. And I'm going to give you a couple of my thoughts on why this might be. Now, what sells and what doesn't sell, this could be different for you, it could be different for everybody. Obviously, I am only speaking from my own experience. I don't work for Shutterstock and I don't have any sort of secret insider knowledge. All I have are my own observations. But I thought it would be interesting to put two photos side by side and talk a little bit about why I think one of them gets downloaded and why the other one does not. So let's get right into it. So the first two photos are both photos of the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. They're both kind of nice, right? Which one do you think sells? One of them has never been downloaded, whereas the other one is constantly being downloaded. So the one that has never been downloaded is photo A, which is the photo of the Washington Monument at sunset. The one that is always being downloaded is the photo of the Washington Monument with the frozen reflecting pool in front of it. Even though the sunset photo is quite beautiful in my opinion, the photo with the frozen reflecting pool is probably a lot more valuable to buyers because it's very, very rare that the reflecting pool freezes like this and that people just walk all over it. This usually only happens if there's like record-breaking cold temperatures and it's all over the news when this happens. And when we do have these kind of really cold record-breaking days, my photo of the frozen reflecting pool is downloaded quite often. So that, that's kind of like my opinion on why one sells and one does not. The next set of photos are both photos of the White House, but totally different perspectives. One is a pretty photo of the White House taken from inside the White House grounds. So it gives a really nice angle of the White House and I think it's kind of pretty, but that one doesn't really get downloaded. The one that gets downloaded is the photo of the protesters in front of the White House. And it's not hard to know why. Obviously, there's hundreds of thousands of beautiful photos of the White House on Shutterstock already. So most likely, if someone needs a photo of the White House, they're gonna pick something from the first page of the search results. But if a news agency or like a website or whatever, somebody needs a photo of that specific protest that happened on that specific day, they can find my photo. So this has a lot of like news value and I think that's why that photo gets downloaded so often. The next two photos are photos of two animals. Now, which one do you think gets downloaded more? Well, the cat has never been downloaded. Sorry, kitty. I know it's a cute cat, but nope. The one that gets downloaded more often is the picture of the great hornbill bird. And that's because there are fewer photos of great hornbills on Shutterstock than there are of cats. When you type in great hornbill bird, there are 44 pages of search results. When you type in cat, there are 19,647 pages of results. And keep in mind, there's about 100 images per page. Now, great hornbill birds are still relatively saturated on Shutterstock, but far less so than cats. So obviously this great hornbill bird has not been downloaded like tons of times, but just a few times and definitely more than the cat. So if you are taking photos of wildlife, the more unique the wildlife is, the more likely that wildlife photo is gonna be downloaded. Cats and dogs, forget about it. Unless you have some sort of like unique perspective to your cat photo. So the next set of photos are both taken in Germany, not too far away from each other. And one is a photo of the iconic Neuschwanstein castle, which every traveler wants to see when they go to Bavaria. And the second photo is a photo of a parade that took place in a small town in Germany, a town called Garmisch-Partenkirchen, where people were wearing traditional German outfits. So which one gets downloaded? Well, the answer is simple. You're probably already catching on to the patterns here. The castle photo doesn't get downloaded. Too saturated. The photo of the people in the parade does get downloaded because I was probably the only person that put photos of that parade on Shutterstock. And you know, it's just probably more useful if people want photos of traditional German outfits 
in that town, there's far less of those photos up on Shutterstock than there are of the Neuschwanstein castle. Less competition. So the next two photos are both some drone shots that I took. One is a drone shot taken above a beautiful lake in the fall. And the second is a photo of downtown Annapolis in the fall. Which one sells? If you guessed the lake, you guessed wrong. The lake photo does not sell very often. I mean, it's it's been downloaded a few times, but not enough to make it a top selling photo. The lake is simply a lake. There's nothing particularly special about it. And there's, I mean, countless lakes in the world. I, I, I don't even know how many there would be. Millions? I don't know. And I can't compete with all of the other drone photos of beautiful lakes in the world. It's just impossible. The only way that particular photo will probably be, be discovered and downloaded is if someone is searching for the name of that particular lake, which is probably not going to happen very often. Now, the photo of downtown Annapolis in the fall gets downloaded quite often. It's actually quite interesting because there are not that many drone shots of downtown Annapolis on Shutterstock. Like there's like maybe a couple pages, but nothing like the drone shots you would see of, you know, some of the other cities in the area for some reason. So my drone photo of Annapolis has actually ended up in the first page of the search results for aerial photos of Annapolis. So that one is one of my top selling photos in my entire Shutterstock portfolio. The next set of photos were both taken in Washington DC. Which one sells? If you guessed the Capitol building, you are wrong. While the Capitol building at sunset is quite beautiful, it is also in a saturated niche. There are so many photos of the Capitol at sunrise, at sunset, in winter, in summer, with people, without people, like you name it, there are so many photos of it already. So that photo doesn't get discovered. However, this very boring photo of the Department of Labor entrance sign gets downloaded like constantly, several times a week actually. And that's because last I checked, this was the only Department of Labor photo on Shutterstock that had, you know, the actual name Department of Labor in it. So I guess it gives it that unique perspective. Like if someone's writing an article about the Department of Labor or, you know, just talking about something, some legislation or whatever, and they just need a simple photo that documents what they're talking about, like they'll often download that. Now the next two photos, I actually really love this example, are both photos of soda bottles. Exhibit A, photos of Coke bottles. Exhibit B, photos of Mountain Dew bottles. Which sells more? Well, if you look closely, Exhibit A shows Coke bottles as they look today, and Exhibit B is antique Mountain Dew bottles from like, I don't know what year, like maybe the 50s or the 60s. And I actually found these bottles in a little tiny antique museum in a town in the middle of nowhere, and I took a couple of photos of them. So the modern looking Coke bottles photo doesn't ever really sell, but the antique Mountain Dew bottles sell all the time. And you can probably guess why. The antique bottles are so unique, there is not really a lot of competition for that. And if someone is looking for specifically photos of bottles the way they looked many decades ago, they're gonna find my photo. Whereas Coca-Cola bottles, the way they look today, there's tons of that on Shutterstock already. And the last two photos were both taken at Starbucks. Which one sells? Well, one shows the Starbucks name, you know, as it was on the outside of the store. And the other photo has the Starbucks straws and a couple of other little things that were inside the store. And the one that sells quite often are the straws. In fact, the straws are a top selling photo of mine. You might've seen them in another video of mine before. In many videos, I do say that photos of storefronts usually do well, but that's only if those photos are not like super saturated on Shutterstock already. Starbucks is very popular and there's tons of photos of Starbucks signs on Shutterstock already. So that kind of photo is probably not gonna do that well. But if you're photographing like a little tiny detail in Starbucks or like something that is not too saturated on the platform already, you'll probably have a little bit of better luck with that. So those are just a few examples of photos that sell for me versus photos that don't sell for me and my thoughts on why this might be. Again, these are just my thoughts. This is not, you know, scientific evidence or anything like that. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of perspective on how you can gain a unique perspective on something and make your photos a little bit more valuable to a buyer. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of these photos surprised you the most. Were you surprised that they sold or were you surprised that they didn't sell? I'm curious to know your own thoughts on this. Till next time, enjoy the rest of your day.